If you print many objects at once and one part failed, you can exclude the failed part from printing. This video is about excluding objects in mensail and problem with Cura Slicer. Setup is easy. You must enable the Exclude Objects plugin in the Clipper Preenter CFG configuration file. And then enable file processing in the Moonraker configuration file. That's it and you can reboot the firmware. After that, this feature will be available for newly uploaded files. Excluding objects will not work for G-Code files uploaded before enabling file processing. Let's give it a try. There are three objects in my QR slicer, a cube, a cylinder and Susan from Blender. Only Susan needs support to print properly. By default, Cura places labels in the resulting G-code that indicate which object is currently printing in the layer. So all you have to do is load the G-code into the printer. When you start printing, a small square with a cross in the middle should appear near the print progress. At first we remove the cube from the printing. The object to be excluded can be selected on the play or in the STL file list. Then cylinder and only Suzanne will be printed. For the second test, I am only excluding Susan, so the cube and the cylinder will be finished and Susan will not be printed. Here is the problem, Susan is not printed, but her support is printed in full. The reason why support is printed even when an object is excluded is because of the way Cura writes support instruction in G-Code. Support is shared between objects. This makes sense when tree support is used or when different materials are used for support. If we look at the G-code, each layer starts with a layer comment with a layer number, but before that is defined a mesh non-mesh that says it doesn't belong to any object. This non-mesh also has a section for printing support. When the support is done, then the objects are printed. In my case, there is a cylinder, Suzanne, and the last one cube. Clipper ignores the non-mesh section when excludes objects. Prusa Slicer generates support in the correct object section if you switch on the naming of the object but doesn't have the tree support. 